Washington football news and rumors coming at you here. Dan Orlovsky has been the ultimate hype man for the football team. Earlier in the week, he was like, man, this could be a top four team in the NFL, or I guess I should say in the NFC. This week, he goes on to say that Washington might be the fastest offense in the National Football League. And I'm like, okay, I can try to wrap my head around this. I mean, I love this defense. This is one of the most underappreciated, one of the best defenses in the entire league. But if the offense is ready to take that next step, I might get on board here with Arlovsky and say, this could be one of the more sleeper teams in the league. So here's what he had to go on to say about the Washington football team's speed. I think this offense is going to be predicated on a ton of speed. It might be the fastest offense in the NFL. We're talking Terry McLaurin on the outside. Then they got Curtis Samuel in free agency. McLaurin is becoming one of the best receivers in the NFL, not just one of the best young ones. Ryan Fitzpatrick's going to have a ton of weapons to throw to. Diami Brown, who again, they drafted out of North Carolina as a huge selection. And then Antonio Gibson at tailback. Those are four guys that have absolute gas offensively. And I totally agree. Those are very fast players. But you're only naming four dudes. So what I'm curious about is, out of all the teams in the NFL, which one do you think is the fastest? Producer Sam and I, we had a fun little bet here. We're like, I bet most people are going to end up putting in the Chiefs simply because of Tyree Kill, but maybe you'll surprise us. Maybe you don't go that route. I want you to let me know down in the comments the fastest team in the NFL. In terms of the four players that Dan Orlovsky mentioned, I mean, he's 100% right. Terry McLaurin, since he's come out of Ohio State, has been a great route runner and has worked with horrible quarterback play. Can't wait to see what he ends up doing with Ryan Fitzpatrick. Curtis Samuel was probably the top receiver in terms of sleeper wide receivers that I thought a team should go out and get. Diami Brown, big outside, very athletic. Curious how he works as a wide receiver three. And then Antonio Gibson, again, a very explosive running back. I've really liked him since his days in college. And I'm not even going to give some love to Logan Thomas, their tight end, who's coming off a career year, no doubt about that. So the fact that Dan Orlovsky thought that Washington was the fastest team in the NFL. It got me excited here, right? I mean, we're getting, I know it's only the middle of June, but man, I want to watch some football. And I got a lot of family members that are big time Washington fans. I got a lot of family from Philadelphia Eagles fans. I got this guy that I sit close to at work. He's kind of annoying. He's a Giants fan. And then Tom's obviously a Cowboys fan. So anytime I have the opportunity to put something like this on screen, dude, I'm 100% going to do it. Who is going to end up winning the NFC East if you want to call it the NFC least? Honestly, man, I don't really blame you. I want you to type C for the Dallas Cowboys. Maybe you're going to go with G with the New York Giants. If you want to go with E with the Philadelphia Eagles, or if you're going to go with the Washington football team, I want you to go ahead and type W.